Dave, I just have one, and it's about the start. Uh, from the first shift, it seemed like you were more than ready. Uh, is that about as good a, you know, a 25 or 30 minutes as you've seen the play, the team play all year in terms of being ready for what the opponent was expected to bring? Yeah, we were solid. I, I liked uh, I mean, structurally we were solid. We we got everybody involved in the game early, and it was, uh, um, you know, a couple. We got a break on the first goal. We get, gets deflected and goes in and we kind of got off and running there so it was uh first half of the game I thought we were very solid. Reiner Schrag, TSN. Dave I know you had some midway point meetings today um mm -hmm. can you just give us a headline or a sense for you know summarize where you think everything is at uh, and what the message was to the team? The message was first half's gone all right now we got to get better the second half you know there's areas of our game that we like there's areas that have to improve and uh, you know we just kind of looked at looked at the 28 games remaining what we got left and what we have to do to continue to get better. Do you feel like you are um, finding the ingredients that you need night in night out like you've got a, obviously lots of different line combinations you've got yeah. more guys available than you usually would. Uh, are you liking the mixes that you're able to, to find? Well, I like the depth that we have, you know, and I think it's going to become more important the second half. And it's it's a struggle sometimes. I mean, you got you got a lot of extra guys, and you'd like to get everybody involved as much as possible. And players all want to play, but you're always looking for that mix. And it's uh, there's been some days when we when we looked at the mix and we say, you know, it's nice to have options. And other days, you you get into kind of a rhythm, and then you. Those other players feel like that they're, they're not going to get a chance to get back in. So that's that's an everyday kind of occurrence. But, um, you know, for the most part, our, our group's been really good together. Uh, the taxi guys have worked hard and there's been guys in and out. And I like the way some of the, you know, we had some players that were uh, in the taxi squad early have come back and played real well. So, uh, you know, our, our depth of our group is going to be really important to us. We want to keep everybody involved and it gives us options to tinker with the lineup if we want to gear it a certain way. Jim Matheson, Post Media. A couple of things, Dave. Uh, Zach Cassidy and skating with you, how far away would he be uh, actually being able to play? Uh, I think he's got to get uh, one more clearance from a doctor tomorrow, uh, which he's going to see at the game tomorrow. But he's, he's skating, he seems to be doing everything pretty well, but he's got to get clearance from the doctor before he can get in any real uh, battle action or anything. So he's, he's getting closer. He'll, he'll uh, probably go on the trip with us next week. Okay. And a year ago tonight was your last game before the NHL pause. Yeah. What were your, what did you think after the game against the Winnipeg Jets that night? March it was 11, 2020. A, it, it was a weird game because we, we got some of the news after the second period. I know the players were concerned about it after the second period and, and, uh, so we got through the game and then everything happened pretty quick. It was just like, this is what we're going to be doing and this is where it's going to go. And when you first hear that, you, it, it was just like, okay, how do we, how do we deal with this? But then things happened awful fast and it, uh, it was a shock to everybody's system. You get going in the rhythm of a, seri of a season and all of a sudden you just stop like that. It's just, that's, that's a first for everybody. So it was, uh, it's amazing that it was a year ago and the world's kind of changed a lot in this last year, that's for sure.